let us look at this very, very important concept uh, and sometimes you get questions directly based on this uh, which require no calculation at all that external forces are required to move center of mass. What, I, what do I mean by this? If you have no external force in the system, the center of mass can't move an inch, right? So, uh, you have these two things here, these two masses, right? It's a problem of gravitation. They might ask you that let's say these two are left like this and by mutual attraction, they just come together and they collide. What is the point at which they will collide? Well, your answer without thinking should be center of mass. Why? Because this is an isolated system. These two are an isolated system. If there is no external force acting, if I leave them, there are only internal forces of attraction and they can't change the position of center of mass, right? So, this is your center of mass, right? And what will be its distance from this? It will be nothing but m2 r divided by m1 plus m2, right? And from here, it will be nothing but m1 r divided by m1 plus m2. This point, both of these masses will come and collide at this particular point only. Why? Because there is no external force present to move the center of mass. A lot of other problems can be solved using this particular concept. Let us say you have uh, a capital M uh, bar here, you have a boy of certain mass M here, he starts moving on this, then how much, if he moves by a distance L, then how much will this move by R, right? Even these models are solved using the same concept, like you will assume that you will find the center of mass pr uh, 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 for this particular system and then you will go at the center of mass and then you will use this particular equation m into r is equals to capital M into r dash, right? Where let us say your center of mass was here and this particular uh, uh, boy moved by distance r that side and this moved by r dash, then what you need to understand is center of mass can't change, that has to remain there. So, using that concept, this particular uh, thing is solved and uh, let us say you have charges q1, q2, right? And q1 and q2, uh, this is plus and this is minus having mass m1, having mass m2, right? If they are left, then they will, uh, by coulombic force of attraction or whatever, let us let's say that their gravitational force is ignored, uh, by coulombic force of attraction they will come and they will collide and then these also will collide at the position of center of mass because uh, the center of mass can't change unless an external force is applied. So, a lot of times you get into these calculation modes and you end up wasting time, you don't even realize that there is no external force present to move center of mass, so you need to keep that in mind, the problems will get shorter.